All right, I was gonna do a full length YouTube video, but I just don't have time to film, edit, and get it out tonight, so here's a short. If you've been traveling the past couple days or if you've literally just been near an airport, you probably realize that there's a lot going on. Well, I just wanted to explain to you why your flight is probably getting delayed and or canceled. By now, I'm sure you're already aware that there was a bug in the CrowdStrike uh, coding that they updated Microsoft platforms with. Well, the primary airline that was affected was Delta. As you can see today, they've canceled 1,085 flights. That's 32% of their flight schedule. Um, and also we've got United coming in second at 15%. They've canceled 433 flights. Now, as you can tell, Delta's the one that's been affected the most. Just looking at the rest of the list here for cancellations and also delays today, no one comes even close to what Delta has gone through. That's because Delta uses the uh, the Microsoft system more than the others. Now, I'll do my best to put out a video tomorrow. I'm going more in depth in all these details, but here you go. If you have a plane and you even have a crew, and you're like, why are we getting canceled or why are we getting delayed? Like, why is this happening? Here's a possible reason. Um, one, the crew tracking system also was affected. So the airline, not just Delta, but I mean like any airline that's been affected like this, may not have access to where their crew is at any given moment. So even though you've got the crew there and you've got the pilots, how long have they been there? Flight attendants only have maybe a 14 hour max duty day set forth by the FAA, while pilots have nine to 14 hours. There's so many legalities. How long have they been at the airport? That, that means they're on duty. They may actually time out. So if any of the crew times out, even just one, they're illegal, which means that they cannot take that plane out. Um, and if it's like, well, only one went illegal and we've got three more, they're good. You can't take that plane out unless you have the specific amount of flight attendants needed for that plane. It's all FAA mandates. All right, just a quick addition here, and obviously I'm in a different location, is because I just thought of this and I wanted to make sure and get this point out too. Um, let's say that you don't have a crew, all right? You're at the gate, you're waiting, and you're like, okay, it's getting delayed and delayed, waiting on the crew to come in. Well, the crew that's coming to crew your aircraft is in a different state, bringing in a different aircraft. Now that crew that you're waiting on gets delayed and or that flight gets canceled. So now that crew's not even in the building. Well, we've got to find another crew to come staff the aircraft that you're flying on. And as you can see, this would be a domino effect throughout the entire industry. So that's just a tiny bit of information on why your flight might get delayed and or canceled or why they keep pushing it an hour and then two hours and then three hours. And all of a sudden it's like finally canceled, but you've been at the airport for six hours. It's because they thought they could crew the flight and they just weren't able to because something went wrong. And it's not always legalities. Um, it could be a multitude of other things. Take a breath. I know you're frustrated. I don't, I don't blame you. Um, this is just a glitch in the system. It wasn't even the airline's fault. Um, but everyone's working around the clock to make sure that we can get those flights back up in the air. This is all coming from a flight attendant. I promise we're out there. We're trying everybody. And I mean everybody wants things to go back to normal. So they, they'll get there. It's just going to take some time and understanding.